Hello YouTube, this is William. Welcome to another introduction video. Now this is the Sportsman's Choice. You guys have seen different variations of this as we went through the R&D. Uh, this is where we started. This is, we, we was thinking about, or I was thinking about, <clears throat> say we, I just, it's a habit because I work with teams so long. But I was, uh, had a fillet knife with a, a, um, a multi-grind, like this, the Scandi here going into a full flat, which I call the Woodsman's Full Flat. Um, that's where it started because I kept getting requests for a fillet knife with a multi-grind. So this is, this was B. Uh, a, we chunked in the trash. <laughs> so this was, this one was B. And I started to say, okay, we're on to something here. I like this, I like this kind of, kind of grind there. All right. So this is where the Woodsman's full flat started servicing and started saying, well, you know, we got something here with that tooth there. That, that's, um, that's something very special. Uh, when you start using that tooth like it's on the uh, EDC and the the um, uh, WCNK, the neck knife, William Collins neck knife, that both of those designs has this tooth, and I, that tooth is just phenomenal for many many tasks. Then I said, okay, we've got we got something that's worth pursuing here. All right. Then we went to this C version because I like versatility. All right. So I took I always liked the fin and fur, and we'll talk about the comparisons here in a minute with the fin and fur, but you can see the blade shape is very similar. I think that, that that blade shape, that little hump there, is very beneficial for many, many, many things. So we got the tip, that tip with that little Nesmuk hump there, and married it to that grind. And so this is what we said, oh man, okay, we're really onto something now with this Model C. So, and you've seen me use this in many videos, you've seen me, uh, use this to, to do feathers and, and strike a ferrule rod and light a fire. You've seen me do um, kitchen prep with this, uh, some vegetables and, and, and things like that, and, and punch your holes in a chicken or a, a, a pork roast and put some garlic in there. So, I mean, I said, you know, we got some versatility here because when I design a knife, I, 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 I'm not happy if it's so... Um, pigeonholed, if you will, if it's designed for a specific task. I think that I like more versatility in my designs. Um, whereas in a fillet knife, you want a little bit more flex than you do in a knife that's just gonna be more multi-purpose. So this knife here, we don't have as near as much flex as we did in say a fillet knife, but it will still fillet very well. It will not fillet exceptional like a fillet knife, but it will get the job done and do it well okay so that's that's the path that i was on so i like this and i said well you know if if i can just make this just a little bit wider here i think it will be even better all right now this is my personal one <laughs> i've been using the past few days all right now this is my personal one as you can see it's the same design it's just that the blade is a little bit wider uh, so basically i took this blade this one was uh, an inch and just under a quarter, well, uh, inch and, and uh, right at a quarter, and I made it just a little bit wider. So it's uh, almost an inch and just under three eighths. So it's almost an eighth wider. And you can see, I hope you can see against that backdrop, that's the blade style. Has the same grind, has the Scandi with the tooth, because that tooth is phenomenal. Once you use this uh, a design with the tooth, then you'll see you got to have this on every knife just about. But uh, anyway, and it goes into that Woodsman's full flat grind. The flex on it is probably medium, I would say, but it's a very stiff flex. Um, but it still has enough flex for control. If you have too much flex, then you're you're kind of you're out of control when you're trying to do around those bones and things like that for for excuse me for um, boning out hams. You want some stiffness there in your boning knife. So if you're going to have a knife with with multiple uses, then you want it to be fairly stiff so you want some control there. All right. Whereas a fillet knife, it's good at filleting but not much anything else. Okay, I hope I, I've explained that well enough. But anyway, so I wanted a knife that's versatile for a sportsman. All right, now the fin and fur is a phenomenal knife design. So I took that and I said, okay, let's make the blade a little bit wider. Let's keep the, a similar tip. 
This has a little bit different tip. Has a little bit more belly than the Fenon Fur. Has a, a multiple grind. Has the Scandi going into a full flat. Whereas the sport of the uh, Fenon Fur is just a full flat knife. Okay. The thickness is the same. I think a very thin blade is, is more productive when you're trying to process game and, and things like that. And so that's the difference, okay? Now again, this is my personal knife, so I've personalized it with this piece of bone here, or antler. But when you get the knife, you're not gonna have the antler bone, but you can order these knives this first run, and you'll see a one on this one. And they're gonna come, the, the, the stamps are gonna be indented because they're all done by hand and pressure. So, I mean, they're going to be indented like you see here. All right, every one of them will because the, the steel is so thin. I mean, that's just part of it. And they will have the made in Texas on the back. All of them will be nitro V. They will all be 1 16th inch thick, okay? Um, you can order them in sure touch. I've got orange, blue, green. They all have the black layers. So the color will be... Blue and black, green and black, camo and black, or um, uh, red and black, or black and black, okay? I have different color pins. Uh, I have the G10 pins. I'm not going to do mosaics, except for a center pin if you want it with the Alaskan pin. I have some of those. Jeff had some of those made. So you have to get with Jeff and his team to select the colors. They have the color choices. I have neon green like you see here for pins blue um there's red there's two different shades of red there's a bright red and there's a maroon red um and though each one of those pin selections has a liner matching with that as well so just get with their bunch and pre-order these so for the first run that's at greatnorthernknives.com and send them an email or call them from that website okay um and uh get yours on order the first run, there's a limited number. I think there's around 30, and as you know, on all my sales, 30 don't last long. <laughs> so if you want one of these, then uh, be sure and, and get with them immediately. Okay, so um, anyway, then one of these will be with me if I'm in the field. Um, it will be either on my belt or it will be in my pack because I, I wear so many different knives, testing them out, doing R&D, but... This will definitely be one in my pack uh, because it is so versatile in the field. And, and I've used it, this version here, for several weeks. Many cooking things uh, in the kitchen. Uh, if you use a knife in the kitchen, you pretty much tell how it's going to work in game, game processing and things like that. But, I mean, it's got the, the, the right tip for running up those legs and, and doing the, those belly cuts and things like that. It has enough of... Um, a drop down for the so you're, you're chopping your vegetables your hands out of the way if you can see that uh, you have enough blade drop there so that it's out of the way you have enough belly there to do your skinning task I mean it's just I it's been said that this is the perfect sportsman's knife and like I said before who am I to argue with that <laughs> so if you want one get with great northern knives and they'll be able to fix you up and you can get one just about as customized as you can get. If you want any other models, then you want custom handles and things like that and liners and pins within those, those parameters, then we can certainly do that. They have the staff that can, can monitor that and can uh, uh, you know, take care of all the paperwork and everything that goes along with doing a custom build. And they just send me a list of what they want and I'll make it. Okay, or me and my staff make it. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, get your pre-order in now for the, uh, the uh, Sportsman's Choice. I, I think that it's, well, like I said, it's been said the perfect Sportsman's Knife. And uh, who am I to argue with that? Till the next one, you guys getting back your riddle on stick, be sure to take a child with you, get the opportunity, and don't forget those plenty of band-aids and lots of knives, and we'll catch you again very, very soon. Bye.